This table shows the number of points Lottie scored in games 7 to 12 this season. Ah, so we don't know what she scored in games 1 to 6. Her median score for these games is 25% higher than her median for games 1 to 6. And her median, I'm going to write that just to remind myself, uh, her median is middle. It's the middle value once they're all in order. Uh, after game six, Lottie's dad said he would increase the money in her money box by 20% each time she scored more than her median for the first six games. Lottie started with £50 in her money box. How much money will she have after game 12? Okay, there's five marks there, so I can spend 10 minutes on this question. So part of me wants to run away from this question because it, it, there's, a, there's a lot going on here. We've got percentages, we've got a median, um, but ultimately it's worth five marks. So if I just take it slow, um, start by highlighting the key information. So a median score for these games is 25% higher than a median for games one to six. After game six, Lottie's dad said we increase the money in her money box by 20%. So he's gonna increase the money in her money box by 20% each time she scored more than her median for the first six games. Okay, Lottie started with 50 pounds in her money box. How much money will she have after game 12? So, so I don't know what the median was for games one to six, but I can work out the median for these six games. And then I'll be able to work out what it was for the first six games. So it's another one of those original value questions. So let's take the first step. We'll just do it one step at a time rather than getting too overwhelmed by the different steps that we do need to take. So to find the median, we need to put the values in order. So we've got six, six, ten, ten, twelve, and fourteen. Those are my values. One, two, three, four, five, six values. One, two, three, four, five, six values there. So I have got six values. So my middle two values are nice and easy, thankfully. My middle two values, uh, values three and four, are both the same. They're both 10. Lovely. So median, I'm going to write median is 10. Okay. Her median score for these games, so this median is 25% higher. Okay, so what was the median score before? I'm going to go back to my Pudamu. This, this is my method for, um, I, I, I'm not going to write that in actually because the examiner doesn't need to know that I use Pudamu. So 25% higher, so 10 is 125% of the original. I want to find 1%. So for my um, Pudamu that I remember, I write it as the percentage of original, then I divide to find 1%. So I've got to divide 10 by 1, 2, 5 equals 1%. I'm allowed a calculator. Great. OK, that helps me no end. So. I can just go 10 divided by it. one, two, five on my calculator is 0 0.08. So 0 0.08 equals 1%. So I've done my, of my poo demu, I've done my percentage of original poo, I've done my D divide to find 1%. Now I need to multiply um, to by 100 to give me 100%. Uh, 0 0.08 times 100 equals 8. So her median before was 8. 
Oh, it's brilliant. So finally, I'm getting somewhere. So now let's go back to the question. After game six, he would increase the money in her money box by 20% each time, every single time she scored more than her median for the first six games. So every time she gets more than eight, her pocket money is going to go up. So it does go up. So it'll be £50 pound plus 20%. Okay, uh, what's 20% of 50? 10% is five, so it's 10 pound. So that gives her 60 pound. I could have used a calculator there, but it's fairly straightforward, so I, I didn't use a calculator. Um, and then in game 10, it goes up, and in 10, game 11, and in game 12. Okay, so it's going to increase, so that's sixty pound plus twenty percent. I'm going to use my calculator now because it'll be easier. So after the first time, it was got to sixty. Now I want to do sixty plus my my calculator does have a percentage button on it. So that gives me seventy two. So it goes to 72, and that takes me to game 10. Then for game 11, I need to add 20% plus 20%. That gives me £86.40. And so I've done game one, game two, that was game three. And now I need to do this game here, which is more plus 20%. Gives me £103.68. So I'm going to pop that into my answer box. One, oh, three point six eight. Uh, I'm happy with that as my answer. I'm lucky my calculator has a percentage button on it. You are allowed any type of calculator in an NCFE assessment. So if you've got a calculator with a percentage button, it will make things uh, more straightforward for you. But otherwise, all I would need to do is uh, for the four games. So I would need to increase the £50 by 20% four times. Now, there is a formula that you can learn um, to calculate compound interest, because that's what this is. It's compound interest. If you know the formula for compound interest, it would make these calculations easier. But I do not have a button on my very basic calculator, which lets me do an increase um, by to the power of four. So I can't do that on my calculator and I don't need to learn the formula for compound interest. So the way that I've done this here is perfectly acceptable although there are other ways to find the answer here.